हेलो एवरीवन सो टुडे वी आर सॉल्विंग दिस प्रॉब्लम काउंट स्क्वायर सब मैट्रिक्स विद ऑल वंस सो गिवन है एम क्रॉस एन मैट्रिक्स ऑफ वंस एंड जीरोस सो मैट्रिक्स हैज ओनली वन और जीरो सो रिटर्न हाउ मेनी स्क्वायर सब मैट्रिक्स हैव ऑल वंस सो फॉर एग्जांपल इफ वी हैव दिस काइंड ऑफ लेट्स से दिस इज अवर मैट्रिक्स व्हिच हैज ओनली जीरोस एंड वंस देन वी हैव टू फाइंड ऑल दोज स्क्वायर्स ऑफ एनी लेंथ ओके we have to find all the squares in the matrix which are having all uh, all cells as one okay so here you can start like uh, square of 1 into 1 square of 2 into 2 square of 3 into 3 4 into 4 whatever is according to the dimension of the matrix this is what we have to do okay so uh, for example let's say we have uh, uh, this is let's say this is one uh, matrix right so how many uh, squares are there so one is this is one square right this is also one square this is also one square so this is also one square so total four and so and this whole also a one square correct so how many total squares in this there are total five squares right total five squares would be there so we have to basically this is one simple example but for the understanding purpose i am telling you so basically what is the idea is the idea behind is like we will traverse through the every cell of this matrix okay so uh, and the idea is that at every cell which has the value 1 okay so if any cell who has the value 1 then only uh, this would be the eligible cell to take part in some square correct so we can have uh, uh, like if we sum all the squares ending at eligible cells that would be basically our answer for example here this is the one valid cell so how many square ending here only one see here how many square are ending here only one how many squares are ending here only one so total three but see here how many squares are ending here one is the itself one is the this square right this is also ending here and one is the this whole square which is also ending at the this cell only so our basic idea is to go to all the eligible cells eligible cells in the sense the cells which has the value 1 okay and then check that uh, uh, how many uh, uh, how many uh, those uh, uh, squares are ending at that point location this is basic intuition now what would be our approach so our approach would be a uh, uh, dynamic way okay we will do the bottom up approach of dynamic uh, programming so we will go the, to the tabulation method so in that tabulation method uh, basically what we have to do is first of all we will create a, a table of m cross m plus n plus uh, m plus 1 plus n plus 1 uh, size okay so uh, what we will do is uh, first of all let's say uh, we have to create a dp so suppose this is our matrix okay so uh, this matrix has uh, all the zeros and one only okay so m the number of rows are 3 and number of columns are 4 so what we will do is first of all we will create a db uh, dynamic uh, uh, array for us okay so the dynamic array would be basically of size uh, m plus 1 and n plus 1 why m plus 1 and n plus 1 because we have to mimic for the uh, starting conditions as well okay so uh, because this is a bottom up approach so we have to uh, take care for the uh, these initial conditions so for that reason uh, we have to create it of Uh, m plus one and n plus one d uh, size. Okay, so yeah, so I have created this DP array for our dynamic uh, approach. So this is m plus one and n plus one accordingly. So initially everything is zero here, right? So now see here. So whatever cell we are encountering, so any cell which has uh, the value equal to one, that means that is a eligible cell which can have certain squares ending at that. at least one square would be definitely itself right if there is no square corresponding or adjacent to it at least one so if it is one then size one into one square would be definitely there so that is why all the cells which are having one would be the eligible cells okay so using that uh, criteria we would be try to fill this dynamic dp array with that okay so what the criteria would be is it would be something like this so you can see here this is our matrix this is our dp which we just created and i and j initially zero so at any point of time if matrix i j equal to 
then we will fill this dp like this so dp i plus 1 and j plus 1 okay equal to because i am making plus 1 because we are going in the bottom up approach right oh, what we are doing here is like dp i plus 1 and j plus 1 equal to 1 plus min of dp i j dp i j plus 1 and dp i j i plus 1 j means let's say if we are here suppose we are at this location okay this is i j then this would be our i j plus 1 right and this would be our i plus 1 j and this is i j itself so these three points we have to look that what is there in dp and whoever is the smallest one out of these three this point which is i plus 1 j this is i j and this is i j plus 1 at these three points in dp whatever is the minimum value that minimum value plus 1 we have to make it why this plus 1 because anyway we have found this 1 right so at least 1 square is definitely there so 1 plus whatever is the minimum here now you might have a question that why this minimum how can i say this that this would be the minimum of these three points so i will explain you with one scenario here can you see this suppose this is our matrix okay and suppose we are at this here okay this is our matrix original matrix not dp okay so suppose this was our ij so what is the ij plus one this is the ij plus one so in original dp what would be the value at for this for this location the value would be how many how many uh, squares are ending here so one is this square itself one is this whole square right so one plus one two is there and one is this guy this one as well so in dp it would be having three right because three uh, three squares are ending at at this location so this would be our three and what would be this guy so one square is this guy itself and one square is this hole so total two squares are ending here so in dp two would be stored here and three would be stored here and this guy now come to this guy the bellow one so how many square it is ending it has only one right because this this guy cannot make a square this this guy cannot make a square right so only one square okay so in original dp here this is two here this is three and here this is one now we are anchoring for what to fill here okay which is i plus one and j plus one if this is our i i j cell okay so now you can check here so if i uh, what is the minimum out of these three one is the minimum right this guy is minimum so if i put here one now you can check if i put here one so what would be the total end uh, ending here squares so one is this hall right one is this hall and one this itself which is what it is making it is making equal to one plus whatever is the minimum of these three values one plus minimum of one one two and three right one plus minimum of one two and three one two and three so minimum is one anyway so if it is minimum one so total two now you can confirm it we just confirmed right you can confirm again see here this is the minimum one so that is why if i put here this one because this anyway this condition came when if if matrix had one right so now you can confirm it that this is making the one plus one the minimum minimum of these three directions plus one because it occurred with the value one so that is why we are using uh, this thing here that is why this formula i have used that dp i plus one j plus one is equal to one plus minimum of uh, uh, the the cell itself and the right side and bellow it okay so in this way we will keep on filling this and every time when we are getting a value we will store those values in one answer variable let's say we will keep on adding into that so this would be our approach now we can start filling it so see here this is very first is zero right so i equal to zero j equal to zero so if you are here this is zero so this condition is not true so here in in this also uh, this would be uh, uh, this would be keep it as it is because we are not going anywhere now we will come to this guy this is the first legit cell okay so what is the coordinate of it coordinate of it is 0 and 1 so what will be the here coordinate here it would be uh, 1 and uh, sorry huh? here it would be 1 and 2 right if we put i equal to 0 and j equal to 1 so 1 and 2 so we will go to 1 and this is 2 right 
so we will keep on filling so this will fill something like this so you can observe here so we started i equal to um, uh, this ij equal to zero right so this become uh, i2 so this was the first legit uh, uh, cell right so which is zero and one so it would become effectively one and two to update in the dp so this is one plus minimum of dp ij dp ij uh, so dp ij is basically zero and similarly dp ij plus one okay dp ij plus one is also zero and below it it is it was also initially zero so what we will do is here it would basically become one so that is why we have put here one right first one we came here so similarly we have to basically taxi see here this was our uh, this was uh, our this thing ij this was the bellow of it and this is the right of it so we found zero is the minimum out of these three this guy is zero this is also zero this is also zero so what we did is like finally we did one plus zero zero so it 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 came here one and similarly then we will again go to this cell this cell so finally we will get a cell like this so if we sum up all the known zero values in this this would be like one plus one plus one okay we have to sum up all of them okay plus one plus one plus two plus two plus one plus two plus three okay so what would be the total so total would be our uh, yeah so this four so finally we sum all of them one plus one plus one this is basically giving us 20 uh, 15 okay so 15 would be our answer there would be total 15 of uh, different size is square having all ones in this matrix okay so this would be our answer so I will show you my corresponding code for it. So now I will show you my corresponding code for this. So first of all, I have created this uh, uh, DP array of size uh, 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 the row plus one and the column plus one uh, length size. Okay. Then what I am doing here is uh, I am traversing through this uh, our matrix, the original one, and see here wherever I am getting a legit uh, uh, cell. Here matrix ij equal to 1 just like here we, we took here we start right we started this is the first legit cell that we found so whenever we are founding this kind of cell we have to look for it so we are updating here dp i plus 1 j plus 1 equal to 1 plus minimum of the uh, ij and uh, right side cell and the below side cell okay so whatever is the minimum plus 1 this will be park the value into dp now here instead of going to uh, at the later point instead of summing all those things we should do at the time of whenever we are updating this dp right so right after better we should update so that is why i am just uh, uh, adding it into the answer variable whatever we just updated at this step okay so in the single traversal only we would be able to get the answer total sum as well okay so Finally, we are returning the answer. So let me try to run my code, which I have already submitted. Thank you.